everyone welcome to oda class my name is sushant srivastava and today we're going to do the most important question of arithmetic progression so guys arithmetic progression is a very important topic not just for 10th standard in fact for 11th standard as well and based on arithmetic progression you will get n number of question in entirely 11th and 12th so today we're going to do the important questions which will deal with all kind of concepts related to arithmetic progression so let's begin with the first question guys and let's see what question is there and before having the first question in fact i'm going to make you recall few key concepts which are there for arithmetic progression so you all all know these two things i'm just going to make you recall these things one more time that is if a d and n represent first term common difference and number of terms of an arithmetic progression then n term which is also represented as tn can be given as a plus n minus 1 into d similarly sum of n terms so this value over here which is written as sn can also be said as sum of n terms can be given as n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d so these are the two concepts related to arithmetic progression in fact the questions that i have selected will also involve bit of quadratic so if a quadratic is there which is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 so you all know the value of x will be minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac upon 2a so if you know these two concepts now we're going to go for the questions which are very important for board exam So the first question that I have selected over here deals with n term as well as sum of n terms. Let me read the first question. So you have if a series is there. In fact, the series is nothing but arithmetic progression, which is minus four plus minus one plus two plus five up to x. Okay, and this whole addition comes out to be four thirty seven. We are supposed to find value of x. Okay, so guys, there are two things which are unknown. The first thing which is unknown over here is x. which we are supposed to find and the second thing we don't know what number of terms we are taking okay so what we're going to do we're going to say uh, that we we're going to assume that number of terms for this sequence which is arithmetic progression is L, n so let number of terms b n so this is the first assumption that we have done okay now if number of terms b n so technically this is nothing but sum of n term so i can say s n is given as 437 now guys i have already told you how to use or how to get s n formula and for that we will have n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d okay so this is the formula for sn now few things which will require over here a value a is always first term so a over here is minus 4 d which is common difference so d will be nothing but if you subtract second and first you get 3 so we have a d so from this equation we have to find n value so i'm going to plug in the values so we'll get n by 2 Minus eight because two into minus four, so minus eight plus n minus one into d, which is three, is given as four thirty seven. So from this quadratic, in fact, if I multiply, it's gonna be a quadratic. I'll show you all. So this becomes n is equal into. 3n minus. In fact, if you multiply this add, so you get minus 11. And this side it will go, so it will become uh, uh, four. Seven, eight, right? So now we have this kind of quadratic. Let's simplify it a little bit more. So we get three n square minus eleven n minus eight seventy four equal to zero. So now you can use either the quadratic formula or you can go for splitting of middle term to factorize this quadratic. So I, uh, uh, if you multiply three and eighty seven eight seventy four, so you have to split that in two parts so that the difference comes out to be eleven. So if you work on that part, you're gonna get three n square minus. uh i think it will be minus 57n plus 46n minus 874 equal to 0 so if you pull out 3n common over here and if you pull out 46 common over here so you get 3n into 46 into n minus 15 okay in fact n minus 19 will be there guys Equal to zero, so n value comes out to be either minus forty six by three or nineteen. You all know this will be neglected because n can't be negative or fractional. So nineteen over here is taken. Now 
once we know n, we have to find x. So x can be given as, which is n at term of an AP. So it will be a plus n minus one into d. So this will get you a value is minus four plus n minus one. So 19 minus one into d, which is three. So you get 50 as x value. So guys, this was the solution of the first problem, which actually involved two concepts number of terms as well as sum of n terms. Now we're gonna move on to the next problem. Let's see what is the next problem. So the next problem that I've selected is actually a little bit more difficult. Here they are talking about the two series, in fact, two arithmetic progression from one progression. Let me read the question. If there are two n plus one terms in an AP, then prove that the ratio of sum of odd terms to sum of even terms is n plus one by n. So let's just assume that AP is a, A plus D, A plus 2D, and so on. And total number of terms is already given as 2N plus 1 terms, okay? So if you divide this AP into two parts, first part will have odd terms, second part will have even term. So I'm gonna write both. The one which will be made by odd term will have first term as this, which is A. The next term will be A plus 2D and so on okay and similarly if i talk about even one so we'll have first term as a plus d next one will be a plus 3d and so on now you just have to find what terms or how many terms are there in these two individual series so total number of terms are 2n plus 1 so this will have n plus 1 terms and this will have just n terms now this question is almost over because you have made two series and we are looking for some uh, ratio of sum of both the series. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume the sum of odd as SO and this will become number of terms are n plus 1. So this will become n plus 1 by 2 twice of first term plus number of terms minus one, that is n plus one minus one into D. So common difference for this series as well as this series is 2D now. So you can write it as 2D, which actually becomes n plus one by two, 2a plus 2nd. Now similarly, I'm gonna find the sum of term n, uh, n terms of even series, and I'm gonna write it as SE, okay? And this will get you n by two, twice of a plus D plus n minus 1 into 2d. So if you simplify this, you get n by 2 into 2a plus 2nd. Now guys, we are just one step away from our final answer. We are looking for ratio of these two. So you'll get SO by SE, okay? And notice that if you take ratio, these two will cancel. I'm gonna write it in fact. You get n plus 1 by 2 into 2a plus 2nd divided by n by 2, 2a plus 2nd. So notice this cancels with this and from here you get ratio of sum of odd by even as n plus 1 by n, which is what we were supposed to prove. So guys, did you understand these two problems? And if you have, don't forget to like this video. And in the comment box, you can always write what kind of videos we should be preparing in the upcoming one. And if you're liking these videos, subscribe to Oda class. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.